What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys Weavile for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Weavile, this Pokemon is super frail, but at the same time, it's very fast and it can pack a punch offensively. This Weavile is rocking pressure as ability with the wide lens as item to give it a nice little accuracy boost. It's got the Steel Terror type with Triple Axle, Icy Wind, Beat Up, and Fake Out. Now, a perfect Pokemon on this team to pair up with Weavile is going to be Archaludon. Like I mentioned, we got beat up. We can actually use it into our own Archaludon if we lead them, hit it four times, get plus four on the fence, and then pretty much just body press away with Archaludon like it normally does. So pretty cool combo there. We'll probably see it in today's video. If not, we got Archaludon pairing it up with Pelipper. Then the other three Pokemon on today's team's feature Sinisha for, you know, support and healing. Volcarona for setting up Quiver Dances and doing good special attacking damage. Then we got Choice Specs. Weezing, which I actually used in my last video, and it worked out pretty well. So hopefully we get to use that Pokemon again, pick up some KOs, grab some wins, all that good stuff. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Weavile in ranked regulation age. First match on its way, and we're going up against a little bit of a Magmar. Team. Magmar with Annihilate. They also have Milotic, really good Pokemon, and very bulky Pokemon. And then he got Rollaboom, King Gambit, and Salamence. Now, I kind of want to go into my Weavile here and Arch Luna. I would love to go for, like, beat up and, you know, boost that defense and just outbulk the competition. But at the same time, if they end up leading Magmar, it could be in a sticky situation where it's like, mm, what would I want to do? But you know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go into Weavile. I'm going to go into Arch Luna. If they end up leading, you know, Magmar and going for follow me, we might just swap out. And, you know, try to just get after the battle that way. So, I don't mind Weavile. I don't mind Archelodon for our lead. We could go in with Pelipper, which actually is a great Pokemon here. Pelipper, you got Hurricane and Weather Ball, right? You can't go wrong with those two moves. So, I'm going to actually lock in Pelipper for late game. And last but not least, we could go Sinisha for support. Or we could just go, like, Neutralize and Gas Weezing. Because late game, this Pokemon is actually pretty good. Especially this build right here with the Choice Specs. It does a lot of damage. 137 Special Attack, Decent Speed, Decent Bulk like its moves we're going in with it i never thought i'd say that glaring wheezing as like late game sweeper kind of not even a sweeper but a late game heavy hitter to pick up the ko's i like it i like it a lot so <laughs> we're gonna use it like i said uh in the team preview we used glaring wheezing in our last video with cramorant so if you guys haven't checked that out definitely get on top of that go check out that video but yeah we used it in the last video and it was phenomenal it hit as hard as it needed to be it did great everything was perfect but they're gonna end up leading Magmar alongside with Rillaboom. And honestly, I'm just gonna fake out the Magmar. Or I could swap. I could swap Weavile, but I'm just gonna fake out the Magmar. And the reason I wanna fake out the Magmar is because if I go into fake out here and we just, you know, fake out the Rillaboom, then Magmar could still probably go for like Follow Me or maybe like a Will O Wisp or something. But if I go into Magmar here, Rillaboom is probably forced to go for a hitting move, which would probably be fake out into maybe like Arch Lunan, and I wouldn't mind, you know, that plus one attack or plus one defense boost for stamina. So I'm going to fake out the Magmar and hmm, I'm just going to rip a body press. Just a neutral body press. So fake out's going to fly here right into the Magmar. He's going to end up going for fake out in the Weavile. That's a fine turn. I'll take this turn all day. We get off of some free damage. So if I had to guess he wants to go for follow me, I think we should probably just like hard swap into into Pelper at this point. Because Weavile would be good later again. Plus, if they go for follow me, what am I really doing with with Weavile? Like, I'm not going to go for beat up into him. I'm not going to go for any ice move. We're just going to rip into Pelper. So, Pelper's going to fly out here. We are just going to uh, start boosting our special attack. And I'll just go for an Electro Shot into Magmar. Make it simple. Make it simple. The simple Archer Loot on Pelper combo. So let's throw it out. Let's see what they got cooking. They could U-turn pivot here, which is actually a likely scenario. Especially because Weavile was Dark type. An Electro Shot is going to outspeed, which is gorgeous. They end up not going for Follow Me. So, wow, I could just run for Beat Up, get that defense boost, and just get cooking. I would have really liked that. I would have really liked that. So, out comes Electro Shot. Decent damage, bringing it down to about half. And Will O Wisp is going to fly, which is no big deal. I'm a special attacker. I'm a special attacker. Just going to throw a little burn on me. I will get the HP back from the train. And are you U turn pivoting? I'm going to go for Wood Hammer. How much damage are you doing? I got Sash. Which is nice so sash gonna pop out here and it's the plan from here because they're just gonna grassy glide me aren't they you going for grassy glide 
Could go into wheezing here. Save my Pelipper. I like that. Let's go into wheezing. So I'm gonna go into wheezing here. I'm just gonna keep boosting my special attack with uh with Electro Shot, and I'm gonna throw this into Magmar. So swap into Weezing, save the Pelipper, low HP, but could be clutch. Definitely could be clutch. And we're gonna go right into Weezing. So no abilities allowed. No more abilities. And you're gonna protect. How dare you? How dare you do that? Not cool. Not cool. Grass Sky flies like we thought. We're gonna be able to soak that, no problem. And it pretty much forced a swap rule boom. Good thing is I still get this special attack boost, which is great. But I get off no damage. So Archuludon just slowly, you know, beefing up. And is there any Pokemon they can swap into who can soak this Electro Shot? That's the real question. That's the real question, because there's a hot chance that they swap Magmar. There's a hot chance that they swap Magmar here. Big time chance. One thing I do want to check as well is who's faster, Archuludon or Weezing. I'm kind of hoping Archuludon at this point. Let's see. What we got? 113. All right, so never mind. So you're going to be faster. Um... What can I cook here? I could just throw Sludge Wave. It's not going to affect me. Yeah, you know what? We'll go Sludge Wave here. We'll choice into it. And could they swap into anybody who's going to soak this Electro Shot? No problem. Not really. So Electro Shot's just our play here. Electro Shot's easily our play. So we'll go Electro Shot again into Magmar. We're going to go for Sludge Wave across the board. Not going to affect our Steel type Arch Lunon, which is great. And it's going to deal some nice damage in the Roll Boom. Not KO it, which is, mmm, hurts the soul. Really hurts the soul. Electro Shot going to beef up again. Gonna take out the Magmar, and I kind of like where we're sitting. I mean, Rillaboom, what are you doing here? Woodhammering? I'm really confused what, what Rillaboom would be doing here. We had a crit. It didn't matter. That was just like a rub in the face crit. Like, yeah. <laughs> You're dead anyway. Let me just crit. Let me just get a critical. He's gonna U-turn pivot. No big deal. Do about negative six. That actually did, I think, two damage. My eyes could have mi misled me, but I think that did actually two damage, which is embarrassing. Definitely embarrassing. Salamence comes out here. Salamence is a nice heavy hitter. Um, I am choice into the Sludge Wave, which is eh, kind of sad. I don't. I, I, I'd rather have something else right now. I like Sludge, sludge Wave up against the Magmar, but do we think they go back into Rollaboom? There's a chance just so they get a fake out shot. And they could hard swap back into Weavile if I want to. Let's see. No, they're going to go King Gambit here, so I think I have to switch my moves here. I could just go into Weavile here. Switch out the moves. Like, I mean, Sludge Wave does decent damage to Salamence, right? Let's stay on the field and send it. No abilities, though, so no Intimidate. Once I switch, Intimidate will come. Um, I say we just send this and, you know... You know what? Let's let's say screw. It. Let's do this. Let's sacrifice the Pelipper. And let's Terrasilize and Draco Meteor the Salamence. I'm gonna sacrifice the Pelipper. I don't I don't I don't need it. I don't need the Pelipper. Neutralizing gas wears off. Attack is gonna drop of Who just whose attack should drop? Is that Pelipper's? I can't even see it. Did Pelipper's attack drop and then they threw it out? I'm not too sure, but we're going to see a Terror type pop out here. Probably most likely King Gambit getting away from that Dark type. No. The Steel. It's Fire. All right. Um, Not bad. Fire type is going to come out here. That's good that we actually swapped the, the Weezing. But we're Terrasalizing as well into Bug. Got a little bit of Buggy in us. A little bit of Bug Terra. Weird Terror type, but seems to work here. We don't have any Defiant boost, or not Defiant boost, uh, any boost yet from Stamina, because, you know, Neutralizing Gas was all on the field. Sucker Punch Flies does decent damage. Stamina is going to boost us up, which is great news. And he's going to go for Draco Meteor, which we dodge. Let's go. That's a big time dodge, and I'm landing mine all day, baby. All day. All day. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We end up taking out the Salamence. My special attack does drop two stages, but it's not a terrible sign. It's not a terrible sign, because what were we, plus three? So I think we're only plus one now. That's nice. Grass Train's gone. They're forced to throw back out Rillaboom. Um, do I just let this Pokemon go out? I think we're... 
I think we're better off protecting this turn. Are we better off protecting? Yeah, we're better off protecting this turn. So I'm going to protect here. I'm going to look to just like KO you. What should I go for against the King Gambit? I think I go for body pressing the King Gambit. Actually, we should attack. We should attack here. Let's double down. Let's do this. So fake out is going to find that, so I probably shouldn't protect it. But I, it was just like a precautionary thing. I didn't want me to protect. And then them to fake out my arch loot on and double down into it. Would have been a big time problem. A body press flies, it does half damage, which is good. Um, sword sand's gonna fly, which is scary. Good thing we outspeed, but I mean sucker punch. Eh. Looking real scary. Sucker punch looking real scary. And I got Arch Loot on chilling here. Um hmm. Could go back into Weavile. I still have obviously Weezing, but I think Weavile's gonna be my play. Just so we can fake out the King Gambit. And then take out the Rillaboom. Because most likely Rillaboom doesn't have Protect. So I'm just going to fake this bad boy out. We really don't feel like dealing with that. And then... We're just going to rip a Flash Cannon here. Over Body Press. And I just dropped my Control War. Lovely. I got it. Don't worry, guys. King Gambit ends up protecting. And... Rillaboom, what you got cooking for me? Nothing, because we're flash cannoning down. So flash cannon down. We got a nice little 3v1 situation. I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. But it's kind of weird how I play. Whenever I like click a move, I put my controller and I rest it on my thigh. And it's just chilling here and I just don't have no hands. And after time, I kind of just like, especially for Pokemon, I just like sit here and just like not even pick up the controller. I just use my fingers under my desk and kind of just press it like this and <laughs> just to play. So it's kind of weird, but that's why I dropped my controller. It's kind of funny. But now it's a nice little... 3v1 situation. I could beat up and get my defense up, and that's kind of where I what I want to do here with you. I'm going to end up going for a beat up and just going for a body press and looking to win the game. Let's see what he's got. Sucker Punch going to fly here. Did we actually soak that? We don't. We do not soak it, but it's all good. We're still going for body press. We're still going for body press. I know this thing's towards dance boosted. Body press going to launch, and it brings you down to one. That's all good, though, considering we have Weezing. We have Arch Ludon. King Gamma has no double hitting moves, which is would be broken if he actually did have like stab double hitting moves. It'd actually be really rough. But out comes my glaring wheezing. I knew I saved him for a good purpose. Didn't want choice in that sludge wave. Sludge wave could have been terrible because it has no effect onto him. And now I could just go for a gleam or a heat wave. I mean gleam should KO. I don't want to go for a heat wave and miss accuracy. That'd be that'd be real ugly. So we'll go for body press. We will go for gleam. He's gonna go for sucker punch and we actually soak that. Beautiful. Awesome. That has a gleam gonna finish it regardless. It is. Let's go. 1 0 to get things started. We're kicking it. Let's go hop into our second match. Hot start from your boy, starting things off 1 0 with Weavile. We're hopping into our second match, and they got a lot of ghost types here. Actually, not a lot. Two ghost types. They also have Ambipom, which is an all time favorite of mine. I think that Pokemon is so much fun to use, especially with like Technician and just using like Fake Out with like the Silk Scarf or like Double Hit. I just like it so much. They also have Houndoom. They got Illusion Zoroark, which I'm going to fall for 100% of the time. And then they got Sneasler, Annihilate, and Arch Ludon, just like us. So one thing I do notice is no weather control. So we could go into Arch Ludon and help her if we want to. But I'm thinking Arch Ludon and Weavile could also work pretty well. Just because they got a lot of physical attackers. So that is kind of where I'm at. I'm going to end up leading both of them. They could lead Ambipom. But at that point, I should outspeed and just be able to fake it out. So that is something I like. Um, I could go into Pelipper. I kind of need some special attackers. So not going to lie, you're pretty good here, Volcarona. I do like you. So I'm going to go Volcarona. I could go Pelipper. Do I really want Pelipper, though? I could just go like Sinistra. A little bit of Sinistra action. Life Dew, Trick Room, Rage Powder, Macho Gotcha. Eh. Meh. We'll go Pelipper. Can't go wrong with my big beak friend. Paloops. My Paloops. That's my dog. That's my dog, Paloops. I love this Pokemon. I've probably said this a couple times on the channel, but something about Pelipper, when I grew up, like I grew up on the uh, on the Fire Red, Leaf Green remakes and Emerald games, or Generation 3 games, I should say. But uh, whenever I seen Pelipper and like Wingle, I was just like, oh, these Pokemon are okay. Like, not that, not that cool. And then once I started playing competitive Pokemon, I was like, Pelipper is actually one of my favorites. So now when I replay Emerald, every now and then, I always try to get Pelipper on my team. It's just such a dope Pokemon. It really is. But Archaludon and... And Ambipom going to come out here. I'm going to have to fake out the Ambipom. And honestly, uh... 
I could honestly just swap here. But I'd rather just fake out the Ambipom. Then I die out. I, I think I gotta swap here. I'm gonna swap here. Mm, what do I wanna do? I kinda just wanna go for a beat up. We're gonna go for a beat up. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're gonna swap. We're gonna swap. So I'm gonna go into Pelper here. And I'm gonna rip an Electro Shot into this Ambipom. Hopefully he fakes out the, what's it called, the Weavile slot. There's a chance he fakes out the Archaludon slot, but if that's the case, I'd get a free defense boost, which is good. Nice, lovely defense boost. The Drizzle gonna come down. Trick is gonna happen. Oh no, who, who are you tricking my Archaludon? Switching items with me. I got a Choice Scarf. Who's Choice now? Yeah, they took it from my Archaludon. So their Archaludon now ha gave me the Choice Scarf, which is actually kind of fine, I mean. I'm choice scarfing into Electro Shot, which is <laughs> not a bad play. And he ends up paralyzing me, so I think maybe going for like a Tailwind this next turn. Maybe just start like beefing up here with my special attack boost. It's probably my play. It's probably my play just to keep targeting down this left slot. That's some nice damage. Bye bye, Ambi Pump. Get on out of here. So we still have Weavile, which is okay. I kind of wish Weavile had like close combat on it. But Archaludon is going to be the main threat here. It really is. Archaludon is such, such a huge threat right now. So they end up going into Sneasler. Sneasler does have close combat. Something we do have to watch out for. And honestly, I could just Hurricane this slot down. I do have Focus Ash. I'll let Terrasalize and just keep ripping Electro Shots. He's faking out somebody. He's most likely faking out somebody. So if I can get off big time damage on the Sneasler and just keep con this constant pressure. I like it. I do like it. The only problem is we have to kind of waste out some rain turns right now because if I'm going to take out this uh, Archer Ludon, it's going to be with a special attacker. And Volcarone is our best shot. Then I'm going for Sunny Day. Oh no, Hurricane and Electro Shot. <laughs> Can we land this Hurricane? That'd be real nice. That'd be real nice. I mean, Heat Wave with Volcarona is not bad. I'll take that all day. I'll take Heat Waves with Volcarona. We might want to leave this. Bitter Malice flying through here. This guy's got a weird set. I like it though. Attack's going to drop. Stamina gets boosted. Bitter Mouse. Land this Hurricane Pelper. Oh, I love you. I love you, Pelper. I love you. Get on out of here, Sneasler. And honestly, I want to keep the sun. I want to keep the sun. I want to try to set up a Tailwind. That's really where I'm at. Set up a Tailwind, have the sun, and then be able to throw Heat Waves. Not bad. Not bad. Plus, Electro Shot is flying into whoever this Pokemon is. I told you guys I'd fall for it. I told you guys I fall for it. I told you guys I fell for it. I can't believe I, it took me this long to figure it out. Bitter Malice? Really? Trick? Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> obviously, the one on the right is... Obviously, the one on the right is Zoro. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? That's hilarious, though. Electro Shot flies, does minimal damage to this thing. He's going to get a nice level of defense boost. That's so funny, though. Terror Blast is going to launch from the Zoro that we now know is Zoro. And can we outspeak it off Tailwind? We do. Let's go, Pelipper. Let's go. I love you. I love you, Pelipper. And what's Archaludon going for? Going for a Dragon Tail. That's fine. Let me drop my... You just boost my, my stats here? That's the play? But it does swap me out. Can you can you get Volcarona out here? Can you get Volcarona? That'd be a blessing. Let's go. Let's go. Big time blessing. Big time blessing. Um, if I can get off a of weather wall, I'd rather double down into this slot. Actually, I'd rather double down into the real Archaludon and then throw a Heat Wave. Let's do it. Heat Wave in the sun. Heat Wave in the sun. I can't believe I fell for that Luigi Zorg. I said it in the beginning. I fall for 100% of the time. It gets me all the time. But Heat Wave does really good damage. Finally, the Zorg reveals itself. Illusion wears off. The stamina is going to boost this Pokemon, but one more Heat Wave can do him in. One more heat wave can do him dirty. Pelper ends up dying. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What you got cooking here, Archer on Snarl. Okay, so we're minus one. Ain't terrible. I mean, I get to bring back out Weavile, which is. Which is solid. Which is not too shabby. And Weavile from here. I actually have Choice Scarf on Archer on which I'd rather save. Just like go into body press. But going into Weavile here, I'd rather just go for like a triple axle and finish off this. This Illusion Zoroak. And then just heat wave across the board. 
just in case Heat Wave misses. I'd rather make sure that I get rid of a Pokemon here, which I do with that. And Heat Wave has a chance at KO, and we'll see. Again, they snarled us up, but I can't believe I fell for that Zoro. Typical, right? Typical Gene stuff right here. Typical Gene stuff. Heat Wave flies for the win. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Stamina's going to boost this bad boy up. Um, and Body Press going to fly and take out my Weavile? It does, but no big deal. My lovely little Volcarona is going to outspeed. Same thing with my, uh, with my big dog. Same thing with my Archaludon, because you gave me the Choice Scarf. So, 2-0 to get things started. Weavile squad is just rolling. They're just steamrolling right now. Walking through teams. Walking through teams right now. Out comes my Arch Ludon. Body Press should be able to finish that off, and we'll just stick with Heat Wave. Maybe it might miss, but there's a chance to cancel the match. There's a hot chance. But yeah, we still have, I think, one more turn left in Tailwind, so everything works out fine. They cancel the match. We're sitting 2-0. Like I said, we're killing it with this squad so far. Time for our final match. Would love to grab ourselves a 3-0 perfect record with Weavile today. Now, one thing that I haven't been able to do yet is go into, like, beat up with Weavile in the Arch Luna, which I kind of want to give it a try here. But there is a hot chance that they do end up leading the Incineroar. But, you know, I'm going to end up going into both of these guys, trying to pull it off in this battle right here. They also have Gudra. They got uh, Arbalava. They got Gargonackle. They got Storm Drain, Gashadon. A lot of different threats that they have on the squad. But I'm honestly liking Sinisha here for support and probably just, or oh, I could go you instead. I could do that. But I kind of need something to deal with the Gudra. Gudra is just like a huge threat all around. Especially for like shelter boost. I mean, I have Arch Loot on for that. I'm going to go Pelper here. I'm going to go Pelper. Pelper is super effective into Annihilate or Ball Ball with Hurricane. It has Weather Ball to deal with Incineroar and Gargonackle. But again, I have to watch out for Storm Drake Gashton, which is why I have the Sinistra. I mean, Macha Gotcha is going to be four times super effective. It does respectable damage every time I use it. So I like it. I definitely like it. I am scared of Gargonackle too because Salt Cure onto Steel or Water types really just puts a damp on your day. It does one fourth of your HP. It does something like that. Like a lot of HP. A lot of HP. So let's see what they're going to cook up here. It's going to be Gudra and. Okay. I, I actually don't mind this. I actually don't mind this because I can freely beat up here. I could freely use a beat up here. And I could just body press. Let's do it. Let's just go beat up Body Press. Let's go plus four straight off the rip. Go plus four right off the rip. Now he's sitting here. He's like, oh, no, I didn't thrash slice. Oh, yeah, we, we getting after it. We getting after it. We getting after it here. Look at all these boosts right here. Look at all these boosts. Boosting up big time. Plus four on defense right off the rip. Can Gucha soak this up? I'm not sure. Hopefully not. Let's go. Let's go. I told you guys, the combo I've been trying to do all day. We finally pulled off here in match number three. The body press finishes you. He is going to end up yawning me, which I don't like. I don't like that. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I don't like that. But I'm not going to swap my uh, Arch Loot on. No siree. No siree we're not swapping Arch Loot on. Might swap Weavile here. Because out could come a double protect. Oh, you're going to you. We don't like you. We don't like you one bit. I could get for triple axle here. Again, we're just boosting at that point for no reason. Um, Pelper Hurricane rips. We are just going to go for a triple axle. Let's steal some damage here. Let's steal some damage here. So I'm going to do that. Um, if I can, I'm going to go for a Drake Meteor. Be very nice. See if we can just KO this bad boy. Three triple axles. Bring some low. Come on, Draco Meteor. Come on, Draco. Get rid of this thing. It's going for a bulk up. Yo, get rid of this thing. Get rid of this thing. Get rid of Annihilate right now. Just need you to land it. My dog Arch Loot on. Way to be. Way to be. We got a crit. That's that's a that's a rub in the face crit. That's what that's what we call it around here. A rub in the face crit means they're gonna die anyway. You get a crit, and it's just like, oh, come on, man. But they're gonna end up yawning me again. That's fine. I mean, we got rid of two of your Pokemon. My Archaludon is slumped. It's plus four on defense. An Earth Power would do us dirty, but I still have Sinisha. So, you know what? I'm just going to waste out some sleep turns this turn. Actually, I could swap Weavile into Sinisha. Get more HP back. But Gargonacle's going to come out here. Um, hmm. 
He's gonna soul clear my arch loot on. Like we already know that's happening. We already know that's happening. Um Yeah, we're gonna swap into Sinister here. I let Terrasalize and try to pull off a body press. I'd rather actually send it into you. Because there is a chance. Actually, we'll send it into you this turn. But I'm only Terrasalizing just because I, I'm predicting them going into Soul Cure. And I really don't want it doing too much damage to me. Plus, on top of that, they could be going for Earth Power. So this is just a solid Terra. But they end up just canceling the match after a swap. So, thanks for playing. 3-0 perfect record. We're not even canceling. They just turn off their console. So, guys, use Weavile today. And grab yourself a perfect record. What more can you guys ask? I absolutely love Weavile today. Faking out, doing great damage with Triple Axel. We didn't get to use Icy Wind, but still, Icy Wind can slow down opponents. And then using Beat Up into your own Arch Ludon, giving it a free plus four defense boost. And it just goes crazy from there. You guys seen it match number three? Like I said, we went 3 0. Nice little perfect record on today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Oh,